Ugh. Hi, I'm Kyron McClendon. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? This week, I talked to NHS senior Sam Ohotnicki and NHS junior Tyler Alcroft about playing for the boys lacrosse team. All right, so your team has won nine games in a row. You haven't lost since the first game of the season. What have you seen from your team during this win streak? Um, we've really been working together as a team, moving the ball on offense, uh, communicating. Everyone's just working hard every day. Uh, we've definitely seen a lot of growth. A couple guys who are uh, didn't play last year have definitely stepped up and kind of filled roles that we lost from guys last year. So Monday night you crushed Amherst under the lights. Obviously they're not a very strong team, but how satisfying was it to be able to beat your rivals under the lights? Yeah, I mean it's a huge rivalry and it always has been, uh, especially since freshman year we used, we always lost to them. Um, so being able to kind of grow and be able to beat them uh, now is just a great feeling. And we know a whole bunch of guys who play there, so it's just it's nice bragging rights. It's always nice to beat the rival. It was getting a little chippy during the game. It was just nice to. Um, you know, get out there, get a win. So Mass Live has you guys ranked third in Western Mass, but your next two games are against Longmeadow and Minichog, which are the one and two teams. Uh, so what is the team doing to prepare for the top teams in Western Mass? Um, we've really, we've been watching a lot of film. We've just been kind of tightening up on some very small things, but we're hoping that if we just play the way that we have been playing, um, that there'll be very good games and we'll hopefully be able to win. Well, we're looking at their uh, defensive tendencies, especially Longmeadow likes to uh, press out and do some crazy checks on people. So we're um, having the defensemen uh, press out against the attack and Mid-Eastern practice, just get used to it. Uh, so your coach, Matt Striebel, he has played for more than a decade at the professional level. How valuable is it to have a coach with that type of experience? He knows what it's like to be a player and stuff and being the positions that we are. It's, it's really nice to have someone that, that skilled. He knows everything about the sport and he's just able to teach us and rub off on us enough where we pick up on smaller and smaller things um, so we'll, we're able to play out just a whole lot better and more unified as a team. And finally, you're going off to Skidmore for college yep. to play lacrosse. Uh, so what did you like about that program? Um, the coach is great. I love Coach Kier. Um, the team is also fantastic. It's just a whole bunch of nice guys. Um, and I, I mean, I just love the school overall. It's just great. Hi, great. Thanks so much for being on Hamped Up. Thank you. In other sports news, the girls lacrosse team scored a team high 22 goals in their last win over South Hadley. The baseball team is off to an 8-2 start and is battling with West Springfield, the defending state champions, for the top spot in their league. The softball team is 9-1 and are in the midst of a seven-game winning streak. Both the boys and girls track teams picked up wins over Minichog on Monday. The boys track team is 3-1 and the girls track team is 4-0. The boys tennis team is 3-3 and the girls tennis team is 4-6. Finally, the Northampton Girls Ultimate Frisbee team defeated Amherst for the first time in program history last Thursday. The team held off the Hurricanes 12-9 and junior Claire Babbitt-Bryant scored a team-high 5 points in the win.